What in the world is Elon Musk up to? He just announced he's buying Mercedes. Why would one of the greatest minds in history make a move like this? What are Musk's plans for the company? Is this good for Tesla? There must be something huge behind it. Stay tuned, and we will tell you everything. Welcome to Elon Musk videos. Here on YouTube, we upload videos about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and more. First, let's look at the history between Mercedes and Elon Musk. So back in 2010, Mercedes, or Daimler AG as it was known then, acquired a 10% equity stake in Tesla Motors. At that point in time, Tesla was still at a nascent stage, and it was yet to become the superstar company it is now. In 2014, Daimler divested its stake, and that is where Elon Musk probably had the last laugh. Tesla is now one of the world's most valuable companies. Daimler's 10% stake would have been worth over $40 billion now. You'll be amazed to know that Mercedes' market capitalization is around $50 billion. So, had Daimler not sold its shares, its stake in Tesla alone would be worth a significant chunk of its market capitalization. Now the tables have turned. Media reports tell us that Elon Musk is ready to acquire Mercedes. So as per the present valuation of Tesla, it could snap up targets that are worth $100 billion or more. So even at a premium, Elon Musk could become the owner of the massive Mercedes-Benz empire. Now let's look at why Elon Musk wants to acquire Mercedes-Benz and why this German luxury and commercial vehicle automotive brand will be a big deal for Tesla. At present, Mercedes-Benz produces consumer luxury vehicles. It is one of the largest brands of premium vehicles in the world, and they have sold over 2 million passenger cars. The automobile industry has been going through a phase where many companies are consolidating to form behemoths, like Stellantis, which was formed in 2021 after the merger of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles with the French PSA Group. The other route is to become relatively lean, like Mercedes has. So in the process of becoming lean, Mercedes has spun off its heavy automobiles division to Daimler Trucks. It's now a separate company for Mercedes-Benz, and it produces heavy commercial vehicles like trucks and buses. This change has been caused by the shift to electric vehicles and the fact that automobiles have become computers on wheels. Now you may be wondering why Elon Musk is interested in Mercedes-Benz. Well, the reason is that the company is rather lean, but it has a global network of factories, distributors, and service centers. In addition, Mercedes has positioned itself not only as a luxury car manufacturer, but also as a luxury and tech company. That synergizes with the format that Tesla is also following. Mercedes is at present taking baby steps towards developing electric vehicles with the launch of its EQS and EQE. They also have infotainment screens that run Mercedes' proprietary MBUX system and a voice assistant called Hey Mercedes. But the company is looking for a collaboration with Apple or AI capabilities. That is where Elon Musk and Tesla bring in a value proposition. Tesla has already crossed through the hurdles of its awkward teenage phase and is a mature player in the automobile sector that is poised to take over the world. Tesla has the AI capabilities to take on any car manufacturer. So, in this process, Mercedes won't have to reinvent the wheel and learn the EV game. It will be able to make decisions quickly, and the innovations in Tesla vehicles could soon become a part of the Mercedes lineup. In addition, Daimler Trucks is the world's biggest commercial vehicle producer. Daimler Trucks is also an attractive proposition for Elon Musk. So at present, the company says that it is ready to release a prototype of a battery electric long-haul truck for carrying freight. And this truck will be ready for road tests later in 2022 and for production in 2024. But Tesla has been developing its Cybertruck, and it will enter production in mid-2023. So this acquisition also makes sense. Next, we will look at what Elon Musk plans to do with Mercedes. It was only in 2021 that Mercedes announced plans to develop a 100% electric vehicle, and it would completely phase out vehicles with internal combustion engines. That is, vehicles that depend on petrol or diesel as a fuel source by 2030. Now, Elon Musk could make that process faster. Many developed and developing countries around the world are aiming to phase out vehicles with internal combustion engines in the near future. The United Kingdom and China are at the forefront of this movement. So Elon Musk could help herald this push toward electric vehicles. At present, Mercedes plans to wait until 2025 to shift to only launching electric vehicles. Now, Mercedes is a company that has played a pivotal role in the development of automobiles. In many countries around the world, the brand is synonymous with quality vehicles. But the issue is that the psychology of the organization could also be looking backward to an age when they were at the forefront of innovation in the automobile sector. Elon Musk would be instrumental in taking the company to the electric and AI-driven future of the automotive industry. 
Presently, Mercedes has factories where it builds engines and transmissions and manufacturing plants where it builds its cars. So there could be an intermediate stage where the assembly lines could be converted to dual use and then quickly pivot to the manufacture of electric vehicles. Some facilities may have to be retired, whereas others can be expanded. Now let's look at how Elon Musk can use this to benefit Tesla. So this move opens up emerging markets like India, South Africa, Brazil, and Nigeria for Tesla. For example, Tesla recently faced certain issues with launching its vehicles in India. But guess what? Mercedes has multiple manufacturing plants across the country. Similarly, it has dedicated units for servicing the South American and African markets. So these plants can also manufacture Tesla vehicles. Similarly, Mercedes has a large network of distributors and service centers in pretty much every country. Therefore, Tesla can make good use of this network to make its vehicles available across the world. The synergy between these two companies is evident. But will this be too big a task for Elon Musk? So pushing a behemoth like Mercedes into the future and transforming the company is a massive challenge. At present, Elon Musk already has Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and the boring company to shepherd. Dealing with Mercedes is a huge transformation and training task. The question would be, will Elon Musk have time to devote to his new venture as well? Analysts have stated that Tesla acquiring Mercedes would be like tying a boat anchor to a fighter jet. It will also have to take care of the obsolete machinery and the labor unions in the factories. In addition, Tesla shareholders may prefer to have a leaner Tesla rather than a bloated company. Considering the reaction of some Tesla shareholders to Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter, it is not unlikely that there would be some resistance to any acquisition of Mercedes. Another challenge would be the fact that Mercedes is recalling almost a million cars from around the world due to issues with its brake booster. According to media reports, cars produced between 2004 and 2015 were being recalled. This is a massive liability. Therefore, a question arises as to whether Elon Musk will want to get tangled in this legal quagmire. In addition, the company is being sued by a group called the Environmental Action Germany over claims that Mercedes isn't transitioning to zero-emission vehicles quickly enough. Environmental Action Germany wants a drastic reduction of CO2 emissions from Mercedes in accordance with the Paris Climate Protection Agreement and the German climate protection legislations. This group had previously successfully sued the German government for not reducing CO2 emissions. That shows that it is not unlikely that it may be successful in its case against Mercedes as well, so Elon Musk may have to face the repercussions of this lawsuit as well. On the whole, it is possible that acquiring Mercedes may be way too cumbersome for Elon Musk. In the near future, there will be many automobile manufacturers up for grabs, considering the state of the industry and the movement toward electric vehicles. These companies would be cheaper and may not be plagued by the issues that legacy automobile manufacturers like Mercedes have, so Elon Musk may think it is more prudent not to get into such a mess. And that's a wrap. Should Elon Musk buy Mercedes? Will this be good for Tesla? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and more.